What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today we are back on the road to number one in the world on GeoGuessr Jewels. Of course, last episode was not the most successful. We dropped down a little bit. We're back down to 300 here, but uh, that's nothing that can't be changed here. So let's jump into another one and see if we were able to do a little bit better. Okay, our first opponent here is E. Now, if you recall in the last video, we had real struggles against the 800 rated players and we had real success against the 1000 rated players. So this should be interesting to see if we can bounce back against these 800 rated players. First one here is definitely Turkey. We see the minaret there, but where do we go? I don't see, I don't see any place name there. Although it could that could be a place name? Yesi, I've definitely seen as a, as a suffix. Um, I kind of feel more out this direction, but could just be European Turkey as well, I suppose. Uh, do we see any like water tanks or anything like that? Mm. Okay, that looks like an Ankara street sign, actually. Interesting. Yeah, it should be an Ankara street sign with the kind of round bit at the top. I was not thinking Ankara, but yeah, it should be correct. Um, apparently, they're being replaced these days, but still, on Generation 3, you should always see that. So, pretty useful. And, and it's, a, it's a city that uses the uh, street signs quite a lot. So, it's a good result there. He actually goes Romania in the north, so that's going to be huge damage. 2.5k to start stuff with. Definitely, we'll take that. Um, and I really thought more east there, but yeah, makes sense. I mean, Ankara is quite flat and quite barren. Next one here. And we seem to have some, like, I guess some, uh, I want to say, like, Sweden action here, right? But, yeah, it looks like Swedish language, and if it is Sweden, I'd probably just go central southern here. Doesn't feel north, that's for sure. We have some rockiness here, it's definitely Swedish, I like it a lot. Could see Gothenburg, could see, uh, Malmö, could see, um, just Stockholm, so, yeah, let's see what it actually is. Yellowfield and signs also very Swedish, of course, and it was just uh, Stockholm there, so he goes in uh, Albania. Is that enough? It's very nearly enough. He survives till round three, though, so hopefully this is somewhat decently difficult, and it looks like it won't be. I think this is just going to be a standard standard little... Uh, okay, when it's Svola here. This is, uh, of course, somewhere in the Netherlands with the yellow plates. Svola is there to our south, so seems like we might be just south of Groningen here. I couldn't actually make out exactly any of these other places. Meppel is pretty close, 42 actually. So yeah, I guess we clicked probably about correctly here. We'll find out soon enough. But uh, it's enough signage for our opponent to almost certainly get the right country. And he manages to go in Belgium, that's crazy. This guy was playing rather poorly for an 800 rated player, but it could just be the fact that he was put under a lot of time pressure by me instantly guessing. But good start to the episode here. Let's see if we can continue on with that same kind of energy into round number two, where we're playing against Skibby Bapada, whatever his name is, with the monkey, silly monkey profile picture. Very like, very, very good, very good, I like it. Uh, this feels like uh, Denmark maybe, white number plate. Yeah, Denmark is certainly correct here. I don't know, generation two is often found on islands, so I'm thinking of going over here. Doesn't really feel like Bornholm to me. But I do want to kind of guess I'm on that one. So, oops, I've hit a space bar. I meant to click over here. I bet it's just over here now. To be honest, the architecture... I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking actually our architecture guess in, uh, in Denmark actually pays off. It wasn't on an island, but it was uh, pretty close to where we accidentally guessed. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Next round here. A good psychological advantage heading into round number two, which is looking like somewhere in Italy, maybe? Italy with this rock wall. Yeah, I don't know. Italy seems possible, so I'm just going to go for it. Could see, like, Bulgaria, could see Greece, could see maybe even Spain. I don't really love Spain, but yeah, I feel like these walls are quite common in Italy, so I like my guess. I like my guess. Overall, it's the most likely. Hungary, also possible, I guess. Blue car, no antenna is quite common in those countries that I just mentioned. And it was actually Portugal, a country I had not mentioned at all. Fortunately, we guessed pretty quickly there, so it's really uh, no biggie. Um, so rural is good for us, but too rural is bad because then our opponent can just find a clue Well, we're stuck <laughs> with nothing. Uh, this is somewhere in Peru. We have a bike, so I'm thinking more north here. Could just be Lima. I opt for more north, I think. I'm gonna go for Chimbote. You know what, Lima's probably more likely, but I like to trust the bikes are more north. Um, taking a look around, I don't know, it's, it's not obvious to me where this should be, it's kind of a difficult round, so. It's a bit hazy over here, so maybe it actually is Lima, and it was just Lima, there you go. He actually goes Ecuador, so not too bad for us, it could have been bad, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, if, if, you say haze, if you see haze like that, that's worth two rounds in a row, um, where, like, we jumped into, after, after being no move, when we jumped around, we saw some, some of that haze. Definitely makes sense. Okay, this is South Africa, probably near Eswatini, I would have said. I want to go like northern KwaZulu Natal here. We got the tree plantations, but it's fairly dry. And it was, yeah, just near Durban there. Pretty good guess. So consistently better here so far. We've uh, not taken any damage and we uh, have them down to 3.7k. So hoping for a difficult round here. Looks like we're actually getting a difficult round one uh, around here, although it will be Europe. So where's it actually going to be? Well, we have what looks to be a, I think, 
Norwegian street sign there, and it is Norway. He goes in Sweden, so, but he happens to be quite close, unfortunately, so he gets a thousand points of healing. Not too bad. Okay, next round here. What's it going to be? 1.5 times damage. My left hand drive here, black and white herbs, I, I guess. I guess this is just somewhere in Singapore. Now, could it be KL? I don't really like that. Black and white curb feels good for I've clicked. Yellow rear plate there. Ooh, yellow rear plate. Well, um, yeah, the, the yellow rear plates in uh, in Hong Kong are shorter anyway, and I don't think you get the black and white curb, so it was never going to be there. So that's fine. Double damage now. Um, we still retain a small advantage, although it's Indonesia, so you never know what's going to happen. Uh, poles feel generic. Okay, that's not really good. Um, but if they are so generic and it does feel like Java, I guess... Ooh, is that a barley roof there? Feels almost like a barley roof. I'm gonna go Surabaya, though. I'm gonna go Surabaya, like, yeah, start Surabaya here. That makes sense to me. It's very flat, and we have all tiled roofs, and we have this uneven pole. So, East Java making sense. Bali also possible, I think. Do we see anything? Yeah, it is just East Java there. Pretty good guess from our opponent, though. Central Java Hedge always works out quite nicely if you're not quite sure in Indonesia. And, uh, well, it sometimes it doesn't, but most times it does, especially with the tiled roofs. Anyway, next one's South Africa. Good, another rural South Africa is what we like to see. Similar kind of region this time, I would say. A similar kind of region. Um, so I might just go straight in for the guess here. I would say it's North Fazulo Natal again. Can be, like, in this area, can be in this area. But yeah, it should be, or it could be like down near Durban or something like that, but it should be in this kind of region of the country, and I think I back myself to get closer, and we are closer again. Good guess from our opponent, though. Definitely not bad, but uh, we have been better, so that is good. Gone down to half healthier. That's what we like to see. Next round, as we load in, is triple damage, and it's Japan. Don't love that. Don't love that. Oh, it's actually Taiwan. That's, that's better. We can, we can definitely copper Taiwan. Um, it doesn't feel super tropical, so I'm going to opt for further north here, but honestly, in Taiwan, it's a small enough country that you can never really know. But it is actually Taipei there, so again, just better. We've not actually taken any damage this entire duel so far, and it looks like we might do it completely flawless here, which would be nice. But this is a hard round. North America somewhere, I'd assume, with the wooden poles. And I am no longer so sure. Blue car. Yeah, it should be somewhere in North America. Fire lane. Okay. Okay, bins. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what about this one. What, what about it? Um... No trespassing. I don't know what if this feels more Canadian or American, to be honest. I think it's more Canadian. But it could be West or East Coast. This is ultimately scary. Um, I think I'd have to take East Coast here somewhere. I just don't want to get any clues, so... I guess I would take, like, Sh Sherbrooke. I have no idea where this is, man. Oh, uh, it's actually Vancouver. That is... Just typical. I, I didn't think the forest quite felt like that. It's just University UBC there. That is, quite simply, the worst loss I've ever taken in this series. I'm not mad, because, well, you know, I thought it could be Vancouver, thought it could be East Coast, um, just had no idea. I'm not mad, because we played perfectly up to that stage, but then you just pick the wrong side of Canada, and you lose, and you lose 25 points. It is brutal out here, man, it truly is. And uh, next one, we're against a very highly uh, rated, based on the profile outline, a very highly rated Czech player here, so... Hopefully we're able to play well here. This one's just going to be somewhere in... And we have Ocean North there, that's interesting. It should be somewhere in this kind of region of Philippines, I would imagine. And we are pretty close there on Summer Island. Yeah, so um, that last round, we have to take it in our stride. We are back below 1,200, which is the first time in a while. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Next one here, we're driving right. We have Dutch, <laughs> I would assume. Looks like we're entering Suerland. Ooh, what is that? We can actually see that on the map, guys. Let's see if we can actually get this decently here. So I would say we're kind of looking at this section here, or maybe this one here. Suolon, could that be the south? I don't know, maybe. I don't actually see anything that lines up quite nicely, unless they're adjusting north and south. But, ooh, could it be that? I don't know, okay, it was all the way south there, wow. So Suerland really was Suer, uh, if, if that doesn't indeed mean south. But, a good guess again, and we're already a thousand points taken off our opponent here, so I'm, I'm liking that. This feels like the like, Korean Trek or something like that. Um, is it? That feels rather Asian. I would take Korea here, unless I'm missing something, but I'm going to go immediately here just in case he can get to something. Um, I like Korea. I like Korea. I don't know if it could be like Jeju or something even. Let's take a look around as we, uh, as we head up the trail here. He didn't really see anything. Yeah, this is a pretty hard round. Um, and it was Japan there, but that's really good. 
Um, that's almost, I mean, it's 2.5k, so, ooh, taking a big advantage here against a good player, like, it's really been the case that we've, 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 we've gone way better against good players than bad players. I mean, um, badly rated versus well rated, uh, is what I meant to say, um, uh, recently, so it's kind of interesting. Luzerne, I think that's that, right? Um, would imagine so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Damn, I really just clicked Lausanne Luc instead of Lucerne. That's pretty embarrassing. Uh, geography knowledge not on point, but it's okay because he got close anyway, and now we're on a healing round in Poland, so it literally makes zero difference. Um, just kind of, <laughs> just kind of embarrassing, I guess. But okay, middle of Poland, this should be fine. Uh, we got Polish Poles, we got the double whites, which they love in Poland. We got the Polish architecture, beautiful house here. And uh, that is all we need to know. I'm surprised he's taken so long, but it's just in wood, and uh, we are going to go back to full health. Okay, good. So, uh, we have a big advantage still, despite our bad <laughs> Switzerland guess. And we hope that we don't get Vancouver again, UBC'd again. Uh, this is 1.5 times damage in Eastern Europe. Kind of liking. Ooh, what is that bollard actually? Hmm, I guess Danish bollard, right? Didn't really remind me of Denmark, but should be. It's quite forested, so that would make sense for kind of this area maybe. Um, yeah, should just be a Danish bollard. Let's see if I'm wrong, I guess. Roof over the er, over to the north there definitely seemed also Danish. Um, and it's all the way north there, so that makes sense. Kind of forested, maybe more so forests up there. Good to keep in mind. Okay, next one we are driving right. This is Mexico. This is Mexico. Do we have any... I would love to learn phone codes for Mexico. That is not so useful. Let's see if we see anything big. There's lots of big signs nearby, so I feel like I should guess quickly. Mm, he guesses. He guesses already. It feels kind of like American border, but last time I did that, I got a bit burnt. I feel like do I recognize that place? Not really. So I feel like I kind of just hedge, just hedge here. I don't really know where it is, and it is just Tamaulipas there. We get lucky. He goes on the border, which I considered, but I just didn't quite like it enough. And uh, we're way in the lead again here. So this is good. Looking like some Bangladesh action here. Um, I feel like this car is often quite west, so that's what I'll try. This Google car, but yeah, we'll see what it actually ends up being. It's probably just Dakar or something, to be honest. It is just quite west there, but southern as well, so we're, we're barely closer. We're only going to do uh, 270 damage there, but basically been flawless apart from like two rounds here. Are we going to get Australia here? That would be nice. I think it's probably South Africa, though. What have we got? Oh, it is Australia. Okay, Perth. This is a Perth uh, suburb. Could this even be Dalkeith? The place I stay when I go to Perth. I'm going to try it. Let's see if we're right about that. Okay, it's just over there. He gets like super close plonk as well, just clicking in the middle. Uh, but uh, it was that kind of area of the of the city. Okay, so well done. I mean, a, a player that high rated should know Perth clues, and he does indeed. Okay, this should be like Czechia. That is Czechia, I believe. Prague seeming good, I would say. Well, I'm not so sure. Big camera glitch there. I would say Prague. Hmm. Got a tobacco us there. Yeah, I don't know if it actually would be Prague or not, but this is a Czech player, so he'll definitely 5k this, or at least get close to. And it was actually in this city, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Once again, huge damage here. Imagine if I lost on that, I would have actually been mad. But the, the multipliers, we just get consistently closer, and then the multipliers increase to the point where they get around that they exactly know. And we quadruple damage here, long antenna. We got Czechoslovakia again, are you kidding me? Uh, this feels maybe more Czechia. I don't know. Just have to go for a bit of a hedge here. I think I just go East Czechia. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we won on this round? That would be good. Okay, well, Slovakia there. Um, yeah, I mean, I should have, like, paid attention to whether he insta-guessed or not. He actually took a bit to consider, but I guess it was rural. Okay, we survived the Czechoslovak -Slo rounds there. That was at least nice. And now we move to, um, actually, like, some... Is this north or south in, in, in po Portugal, I wonder? I get this vibe that it's more southern. But the, 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 the vegetation on the side of the road is quite thick, so, yeah, I'm not the best Portugal guesser. I'm gonna opt for, like, kind of, like, Lisbon area here. I'm a little worried, though. And it was actually quite southern there, so that should be enough to finish him off. Yeah, I can understand the north guess there, to be honest. I wasn't quite, quite sure. What kind of uh, points is this gonna be? 19. We're back above 1.2k. So that's at least nice. Um, but, yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Next one here, Serban Roman. Interesting. And this is Canada, which gave us some troubles earlier in the video. Um, well, it could be US or it could be just Europe. Okay, interesting. I really thought Canada were looking at this view. Okay, in which case I would say just uh, just Sweden. If we have an antenna, um, it doesn't look like Finland. Not Finnish architecture for my money, but it could be still. Um, taking a look down the road here, we probably actually had flagpole somewhere. 
because we're in the Nordics. Normally you see some. Okay, it's just Sundsvall there, so yep, not too bad. Uh, we're both basically guessing the same spot. 350 points of damage. And once again, will we uh, struggle once again against a, uh, a lower rated player? I mean, I didn't even check his rating. I can't remember. Maybe I haven't said it, but I did not remember. Uh, this is probably Bishkek. Uh, do we see something south? We should see mountains south. It's quite hazy. I prefer Bishkek over everything here. Uh, kind of has capital city vibes in for my money, and it was indeed. And it makes sense to be actually north suburbs because in the south suburbs, you definitely would be able to see these foothills here. So yeah, okay. Uh, next one, and we are looking at a fairly difficult one. No moving, panning or zooming. Uh, what is this antenna? That's actually Latin American antenna. Okay. Kind of prefer like... Ecuador or Mexico here to anything else. I think we should just guess quickly. I'm gonna go Mech I'm gonna go Ecuador hedge. This can literally be Brazil or or Mex as well. Uh Sun was pretty southern, so northern hemisphere, but Quito is technically northern hemisphere, I think, right? Yeah, just. I mean, it's probably Mexico, to be honest, if the sun is that south, but we'll find out. I mean, you don't really trust the sun too much on the equator, and it was Quito there, so it's very nice. Um Sometimes going with a bit brainless and a bit like more instinctual has worked out. So that's a good that's a good round there. Hopefully we can continue that. Oh, this is I like this. This is more Indo. This is a good country I've practiced a little bit. Feels like kind of like Lampung area. Um might try that to be honest. Um hmm. Yeah, I might just try Lampung here. I'm not really sure where it's gonna be, but it could just be Java, but I liked Lampung and it was Lampung. Wow, absolutely accurate guesses there. He goes Cambodia and we take him out. That was a fantastic game, to be honest. I feel like I'm actually playing pretty well today. We only gained six, so he wasn't too high rated. Anyway, next opponent is 1000 plus rated. We're in South Africa or Botswana here. Can we actually work it out? Don't see any yellow rear plates, so thinking of South Africa, but I'm not entirely sure. I'd say Hautang is probably just most likely here. Again, no yellow number plates, so yeah, would say would say it's not going to be anywhere else um, than South Africa. Now, can we actually make it out here? Yeah, we got Generation Four, so that makes sense. Uh, that may be like kind of a more northern city, just based on vibes and the Generation Four coverage here. I don't know. I, I feel like where I guessed all further north is going to be the play here, and it was just Pretoria. Okay, so in a, in a sense, we were correct. Uh, and he gets pretty close there, taking 167 points. It's a huge metropolitan area in Hauteng. Like, it's crazy that, you know, those two cities basically connected, but you can lose 167 points for basically being in the right city. Uh, this kind of contraption maybe feels more north. I'm not really sure, though, if that's a north or a south, uh, like, tuk-tuk thing, uh, sidecar. I'll go Manila here. Feels like a decent hedge. Um, I, I expect it to be more north. It could be just deep south as well. Let's see if we actually see anything confirming either of those thoughts here. Hmm, that's an interesting uh, sidecar. I mean, I love how, how creative they are with it in the Philippines. It seems pretty cool. I'd like to, like, buy some of her produce or something. It's just north there, though. That's fine. Okay, so, again... Not too bad. Guessing pretty accurately, no, considering no moving. Our opponent is, again, low-rated, so I'm kind of worried that <laughs> that's been our downfall recently, losing to these low-rated guys. Uh, short antenna here. We have a yellow plate here driving right. What is the meaning of that? Is it French yellow plate, or is it just a weird traveler? I don't know what the meaning of this is. Doesn't really... Could it be Israel? Ooh. I don't really feel that Israeli to me, but I guess I have to trust that. Yeah, I mean, it can be, now that I think of it. I just thought so European, but short antenna. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Short antenna, though. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. I, it doesn't look like... I mean, that looks more like a European language. So maybe I have to go France here. Ugh. This is highly unpleasant, actually. My... Like, the rocks on the side of the uh, road here definitely feel like Israel. We can't let him have too much time. I have to hedge here. I literally have to hedge it halfway. I'm going for a grease hedge. My goodness, this is not pleasant stuff at all. Now, can we actually make it out? Hmm. It's probably France, actually. So, we're in we're, we're in trouble here, I would say. Ooh, what is that speed sign? Maybe Montenegro, even. We could actually be closer here. It's well possible. Um, I could see Montenegro or something. It is Montenegro there. Just deep south Montenegro with a yellow plate. Not really sure what the meaning of that is, but I'm glad I didn't commit to Israel. Um, and <laughs> bit of a weird guess, sure, but yeah, I don't think he sees short antenna like that in Israel at all, so it probably wasn't even worth hedging. I don't know, this one's going to be somewhere in the Netherlands with all the yellow plates. Could it actually be Luxembourg? Hmm. Yeah, architecture may be more Luxembourgish here. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the pavement's very Dutch, so I think it is the Netherlands, but 
Yeah, it's definitely uh, a very, like, that whole street lacked any brick, like you'd expect to see in the Netherlands. And it is just in this city over here, Arnhem. So I guess Arnhem might be, you know, more German influence, less, less of that brick. I don't know, interesting, interesting route there. Uh, but okay, here we go, 0 0.25 times healing in what appears to be somewhere in like Montenegro or Albania, just go for this, probably Montenegro. And he goes quickly because he's on full health and at least we uh, we gain all the points back that we probably needed here. So 5k to 6k, that's the good thing about making your mistakes early. And uh, here we head into the healing round and we are playing with yellow number plates here, that's fine. Uh, let's just go somewhere in like Tel Aviv or something like that. Um, probably more Jerusalem feel, actually. I was not really paying attention when I guessed, kind of just thinking about the rounds coming up. But, uh, yeah, it should just be Jerusalem with that. No, like, uh, we didn't have any, like, uh, it was very dry and we didn't have any, like, uh, tall buildings. No apartment buildings, really, or apart from ones that were, like, three stories or four stories high. So, you know, if you, if you see lots of short buildings, Jerusalem works. This is actually going to be somewhere near Phnom Penh, I would say, in Cambodia. I considered uh, Bangladesh here for a sec, but I think it's a bit too dry. And uh, we also have language here. That's interesting. I, it has to be Khmer, I guess, but didn't actually strike me as that Khmer, just looking at it like that. But should, should, should be. And where will he go? He went in Malaysia there. Interesting. Must not have known the Google car. So that's going to be good damage for us. 4.2k. We'll definitely take it. And we move on to round number eight here, where we are looking at some language, Havata. Um, yeah, Fala. So I think that's Croatian, right? I would have thought so. Hmm, not actually sure. Um, let's see, for rifts, we have no rifts. And we have, I mean, like, Croatia makes sense, right? I don't really see. Yeah, we have a black-topped bollard here. Could this even be, like, uh, Slovenia? Yes, it can be. I think I just guess on the border between the two countries here. That definitely makes the most sense to me. Um, just go for it. Uh, anything else to say? I mean, yeah, it definitely feels like that architecturally. Um, and I have been to that kind of region. And we have we'll shutters on the windows. So, yeah, both countries making sense here. Um, and I think that's a Slovenian one. So, I like my guess here. Should be in Slovenia. Uh, Bollards also fit. And we are very close there. Well, not super close, but ends up being nearby where I stayed when I was there. And we get 1.2k, so Croatian guess definitely makes sense. And we move to triple damage, which should just be Santiago. I've learnt my mistake on Chile. Just go Santiago if it looks like kind of suburban like this. Or am I wrong? We have mountains both sides, so that fits for Santiago. I think I just go here, guys. Um, it can, like, I, in all honesty, our, pro, our opponent just goes for the same guess and it ends up being fine. Copia, uh, Copiapo is possible, maybe. Um, Vinya is probably less possible because we don't have mountains north there. Um, so it should just be Santiago, surely. I mean, I've got burnt by, so many times by not going there. I, I've decided to just start going there. And, of course, it was a copy up this time, damn it. Uh, we are closer, though, so that's at least something. 4, 4, 6, 2 doesn't take him out. But it wouldn't, I don't really want to win on a round like that anyway. It's fine. Are these New Zealand number plays? It kind of feels like NZ to me. Okay, do we have NZ poles? We do. So is this deep south or is this up north? Feels more northern to me. Green street signs. I don't know. I do not know. I think we just go Auckland here. Green street signs, though. Bit interesting. Um, do we see anything like a big mountain or anything? No. So yeah, I just go north here. Um, these like holy poles. I should have explained these holy poles, which like have these big holes towards the bottom. They're found in the North Island and then Deep South Island. So. Uh, we should be fine here, assuming this is not deep south. And we actually get really close accidental guess. If we knock him out here, well, that's hilarious. What a way to lose. Um, just a complete log guess, guys. I didn't even look at the map. That I can't play this kill that. I didn't even look. Okay, one, one, two, two, nine. Let's send for another one here. Still playing well. We are playing against a 900 Reddit player here. So again, adrenaline spiking against this little Reddit player. Let's see if we can play well here. Feels like it should be somewhere in... Ooh, big mountains there. I think Java, we have enough um, paint, like, uh, tiled roofs to feel like Java is more common uh, here. Like, I'm just gonna go Bandung. Didn't actually check pole tops, but here's my logic, guys. We have a bit of black, black glitch on the car, or black chipped paint, and you see that in, like, North Sumatra region, and also in Java. So, and I think with this many tiled roofs, while this is still possible, I think Java is just more likely. And it was just Central Java there. He goes in Central Kalimantan, so not a bad guess. Still going to be 700 points damage, so we can't complain. 
Okay, and the next one here, what are we gonna be looking at? Something Baltic, something Polish maybe. That's the vibe that this architecture gives me. Um, probably Lithuania or Latvian Poles here, I would say, Latvian. Um, we can definitely check just after we guess here. So let's just guess and uh, move here. And this is indeed a Latvian, pole, uh, Latvian uh, sign. It's a very thick red border with a white outline. Um, you don't get that in Lithuania and then you don't have a white outline in Estonia. So yeah, that's good. We should be close here. And we were indeed putting the pressure on and those Baltic grounds can really pay off. Uh, he didn't get the vibe of the architecture so we're immediately getting down to half health. That is great. Okay, next one here. We're looking at some more Peru. The last few Perus we've had on the series have all been in Lima. Now I'm checking for poles. This kind of pole paint is definitely more common in the south. We only see it once though. So I am wondering, is south actually worth it here? We have that haze that I've been talking about. It's more common in Lima. I actually do kind of err uh, south here maybe. Do you see what's written here? No, not really. Okay, I err uh, south. I err uh, south. Let's test out my meta with the black and yellow painted pole. Uh, we will go like here. I don't know, halfway to Lima seems fine here. We're just on the way to the healing round anyway. We're not going to be able to knock him out because it's a pretty easy Peru. Oh, what about pole markings here? Nothing. So I guess it is just Lima, but we don't really have the kind of big mountains that I would expect more so in that region. So it is still interesting. And it was just like south of Lima there. So yeah, okay. So it's still kind of working my meta. and get another 500 points damage. So again, cutting into his uh, potential healings here. Uh, but okay, this is somewhere in Israel. Israel is fine, um, he's just going to make it to the healing round, but yeah, he's definitely getting this, so I wish there was a bit less Israel in Jules, just because it is normally a free round, because you can see all the yellow number plates, but to be fair, I already struggled with a round that I thought might be Israel in this uh, in this video so far, so yeah, I guess so. Uh, next one here, 0 0.25 healing, oh, it's a, it's a hard round, I like that, it's a, it's a hard round, we, we don't have to heal here at all, so we just click in the middle of the map, uh, and it's not that hard, it's just Alps somewhere. Oh, you can see that these cows, they love, you know, rearing cows up there and these wooden shacks have to be there, surely. Um, could it be Pyrenees? Maybe. I, I would I would lean Alps every time here, I think, but we'll find out. And it was indeed Alps, just in Switzerland. He gets it, of course. Not really a difficult round to get. Uh, and so we move to uh, about double health compared to what he had. It's 1.5 times damage here on what looks to be something like Luxembourg. Yeah, Lux definitely making the most sense here. Dark backs are the sign. Can it be anything else? I think these look like Lux poles as well. They're kind of kind of German style, but you don't really see German poles. Well, I don't know if that's actually German style. I think that's just Lux style. But yeah, German poles, like you, you don't really see them in GeoGuessr because they only have the urban coverage. But Germany actually has really interesting poles, which I, you know, tried to somewhat observe when I was over there. And hopefully I can use that when they finally do add the German coverage. But that was just indeed Luxembourg. He missed the bollards there. That was Luxembourgish bollards everywhere. You don't really get those in France, so not the best guess from our opponent, but I guess he was maybe hedging. Next one here feels like Britain, does it? I don't know, it could just be Eastern Europe as well. No, it is Britain. I would say London here, what do we see? Uh, nothing too much in terms of information here. He's probably started moving. MY construction, not really helpful. I would go London here, although it is a bit hilly. I'm not really sure if you ever have such a hill in London, huh? Um, hmm. you do have permit zone here. I feel like that's probably London. Sure, why not? Why not? I'm going for it. Um, it could be like Bristol. I think Bristol is quite hilly like this, so that'll be my second option. Or maybe it's just like Scotland. But I mean, the, uh, the architecture is very British with the red brick, so London seems fine to me here. Uh, where will he go? If he goes a bit further north, we could actually do some good damage here. I think it's southern. It's just London. Okay, so outskirts of London can can have a bit of uh, a bit of that hilliness. That's good to know. Four damage, not too bad, not too bad. Moving to the next round, uh, looks like Europe again. Wish there was less Europe. Um, this is going to be somewhere in Czechoslovakia. It's very flat, so maybe Slovakia is more likely here. I don't know. The hills are north and not south. I like that for the kind of flat region of Slovakia. I'm trying it. Can just be central Czech here as well. Uh, I don't see anything that helps us distinguish the two. Um, yeah, nothing to be honest. So yeah, very generic round here indeed. But, uh, I mean, without the bollards, I'm not even sure if I get it. It just is incredibly generic. So, let's see where it actually ends up being. And it was, indeed, in Eastern Slovakia here. He didn't guess, so that's obviously going to result in a zigzag victory here. Very nice. Uh, do we go for one more? I think we go for one more here. Okay, that Q literally took us so long, and we get a 400 rated player. Okay, well, this is a bit of a sorry ending to the video, but let's try and take him out 
as quickly as we can. Actually, it's Russia, you know, it's not that easy. Uh, it says Berlin there, I bet he goes Berlin here. If he goes Berlin here, I'm just ending the video, okay? I'm just ending the video. Okay, we just go Moscow, we'll try it out. <laughs> um, it can't be further east, I don't really know, but if he goes Berlin, I will literally lose it, I'll literally lose it, guys. Um, what's going on? I don't know, it is just in uh, this city here. Don't even know that city at all, Cheboksa, Cheboksari. Okay, but he had actually a Russian name, so I should have been a bit more careful there, perhaps. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Next round, let's see if we can, let's see if we can make this quick. Uh, this looks to be somewhere in, I don't actually know. Ooh, uh, that looks something Irish. Killy something feels very Irish language. He's not gonna get this. He's gonna go somewhere random, guys. I I just know how these 400 rated players operate. Yep, it is right there. And he goes, of course, Southern Spain. Very Southern Spanish round. Hey guys, do you agree? Do you agree? I don't know, poor Ilya here. I feel like I'm, I'm being a bit mean, but you know, it's like, why am I getting placed, placed against players like this? It's hilarious. Um, this is like Czechoslovakia, I guess. This uh, orange and black pole is very Czechoslovak. Yeah, and I guess if the mountains kind of look epic, I would opt for Slovakia, but We'll find out. It's one or the other. Um, we do not have an antenna here, which may lend itself more towards Czechia, but you can see it in both. Uh, let's see about this sign. Hmm. Yeah, fairly generic, I would have said. Fairly generic indeed. Can still be Czechia, let's see. And it was just there. He doesn't guess, of course, because he's a 400 random player. Okay, that is it for the video. Guys, give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, we gain zero. So let's see where we end up in the world here. I think we, we have re-entered, uh, you know, top 300, so that's at least good. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, goodbye.